Morer's Ice Cream in Shimokan, an interesting place for a lot of reasons. On the walls inside, there are photos of old ice cream shops. They were once so common, you could hardly go anywhere and not pass one. We found that while ice cream shops have all but disappeared, the art of making ice cream is still practiced in some places. Morer's happens to be one of them. Ken Bethke bought the business several years ago. He did his homework, came up with a recipe, and began making ice cream the way he liked it. It, it basically is the same, but you know, you put a little more. If you're in a good mood one day, you like you put a little more cherries in, you know. And if you're one of those, you know, bad moods, you you cut it back, you know. It's obviously the way a lot of his customers like it too. Ken says he'll make about a thousand gallons a week during the season, five hundred in the off. There's a bunch of different chocolates we blend together. This is the basis for an ice cream called Bittersweet. It is, he says, the biggest seller at Mars. Ken often works with his son Wade, and together they put out gallons of this delightful mix. Well, the mix is partially frozen, like a custard. It's time to move it along. Ken and Wade get into a rhythm after a while. There is a scent in the air, a blend of rich ice cream mix, vanilla, and a bittersweet chocolate. I could gain weight just breathing in here. I do confess, though, I am not one to pass up a sample. Right now, this is probably about 22 degrees. Mmm. Boy, oh boy. Ice cream from a blender before it has frozen. In the scheme of things, it doesn't get much better than this. Ken Bethke, ice cream artist in residence at Mars. It's so good of him to share his work, don't you think?